Hello viewers, I'm Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. The Christmas season is fastly approaching and of course here in the British Virgin Islands there is nothing uh, we love doing more than ringing in the Christmas season. Joining me uh, this evening is the one and only Mr. Barry Jones of Phoenix Entertainment. We are talking all things Flotilla of Lights, a beautiful event that really encompasses the community spirit which you would love to hear about. All this and so much more after a word from our sponsors, you're watching 284 Media. You value traditions. You value music. You value education. Family. I love you. <laughs> Service. Thank you. You're welcome. Love. Life. At Popular, we're committed to you and everything our community values. For the things you value the most, count on us. Popular. Viewers, thank you so much for sticking with us. As promised, I am joined by Mr. Barry Jones. Mr. Jones, welcome to 284 Media, and thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you very much, Ron, for having me. Absolutely. Now, as mentioned, uh, Flotilla of Lights, uh, the official launch event of Phoenix Entertainment, for which you are the CEO. Before we get into this very magnificent event, for which I truly believe that will help us uh, not only ringing the Christmas season, but really put community spirit uh, at the forefront. Tell us about Phoenix Entertainment. Well, Phoenix Entertainment um, is a new company to the BVI. Um, it comes out of my experience of doing events in the Cayman Islands, both on a social setting and physical um, sporting set, uh, footing as well. I've um, experienced in doing events such as Cayman Islands Fashion Week, with a team such as Terry Donovan, who does, um, he does his fashion event here, uh, Summer Sizzle, um, and um, who is integral to the, to the team as well. I uh, also have done events, cycling events, one here in particular for the Red Cross. I've also done events, cycling events in the Cayman Islands for the Humane Society, for Meals on Wheels, sorry, and for Cayman Water Company for the hospice care. Beautiful. So the launch event, Flotilla of Lights, uh, which is really um, introducing uh, Phoenix Entertainment to the British uh, Virgin Islands community. Uh, tell us about this magnificent event. I'm excited and I think uh, many of the uh, persons in the general public are also excited. Well, as you know, Ron, um, after you, you have Halloween, everyone is fully into the Christmas spirit. You know, they, they like all Absolutely. things Christmas. Yeah. So basically, Flotilla of Lights is trying to encompass and incorporate all the elements of Christmas, um, you know, get people really excited about Christmas, especially seeing as we've gone through this COVID period and we have not really had much to, you know, sing and dance about. We want to basically bring an event to the community and, it's, and I understand it's not a new event, but it's an event that we want to bring to the community, which encompasses, you know, all aspects, um, you know, of the BVI, obviously floats um, being, you know, the parade of um, different types of um, vehicular transported um, parade and also we want to do a vessel parade you know where yes. people are judged people create different designs on their boats and, be, and being judged by you know what they present. So you mentioned that it's not necessarily a new event to the BVI but what is different about this event uh, which I understand is that we're incorporating of course at the vessel so there's a boating aspect uh, corporations homes uh, churches just about anyone can participate vehicles trucks um, we're not singling out anyone who cannot participate in the flotilla of lights am i correct that, that is correct um as a, as a new as a new newish event and a new event for us we don't want to limit anyone from you know being part we don't want to prevent anyone from participating in the event we want to have as many entrants as possible um basically to see what where the interest lies and then you know from there we'll know how to monitor it and and going forward next year how to um, best present the event. All right, so tell us about the details. When is this event going to be held, uh, the time frame, uh, as well as cost? Is there any cost for persons who want to sign up? Well, um, the events are to be held um, through the month of December. We are invi inviting anyone who wants to light up their houses, mm -hmm. you know, to basically send in their application, you know, um, and that, in that goes through the whole month of July. So, you know, it allows for the public to have time to go out and judge. Um, and for judging the month is going to be- December, right? Sorry? That's the month of yes, December? Yes, the month of Correct. December, okay. yes. Um, so that the public can go out and judge. They'll have ample time to go out and judge and there'll be a judging platform on our, um, on our Facebook page. 
Okay. Uh, tell us about the cost. Is there any cost associated with signing up for any uh, aspect of the uh, competition? Uh, signing up is a, is a $50, 50 nominal fee, and it's just to deal with the administrative aspect. Um, seeing as, you know, at the moment, there's not much um, financial activity, uh, ec economic activity in the islands. We, I just want to leave it as simple as possible. Um, you know, that being that the cost associated with creating the floats um, will be the cost, you know, of entry basically. Um, a nominal fee of $50 registration allows us to do all the administrative works and stuff like that. Understood. So this uh, exciting event, uh, viewers, really takes us through the entire month of December. Um, of course, uh, really bringing in the Christmas season. Uh, Phoenix Entertainment is holding this event and we want all persons to be able to participate. That is whether it's a home competition, whether it's a corporation, a uh, business, uh, in town, a vessel or a vehicle or a truck whatsoever, perhaps even your bicycle. Um, I want to talk about sponsorship. Of course, events like this are uh, not possible without the support of others. Uh, if you're so inclined, can you share with us who are some of your sponsors for this event? At the moment, we don't have any sponsors on board. Uh, however, we have reached out to all sectors of the community requesting um, and asking if they would want to come on board and sponsor the event. However, it, it is not integral to the event. Um, it will help expand the event in my, in my view. Um, the, the basic element of the, of the event is the floats and boats. The floats we're, we're going to be doing on the 11th of December. Okay. And it basically starts from the hospital, makes its way down waterfront drive to the roundabout at Bobby's, uh, goes on to the Castro Drive and ends up um, going through um, by Banco and ending up behind the government admin building. And on the 18th, we're doing the, um, the, the boats at the Pier Park waterway. So we're hoping, you know, that um, participants would, you know, get their boats ready to, for, um, for showing at the Pier Park on the 18th. Understood. And now, Mr. Jones, you mentioned earlier that we've been through a lot with COVID-19. Uh, of course, within uh, not only this year, but the past two years, um, holistically, how important do you think such events are to the BVI community in not only bringing community spirit, uh, but just bringing some love and light uh, to the beautiful people of the BVI? Well, as you mentioned, you know, bringing love and light, uh, we are asking even for the, the, the districts to, part to submit an entry so that, you know, they can be judged and they can walk away with the bragging rights of being the district that was selected as the best district for 2021. And most of the events, uh, basically it's a bragging rights thing at, mm -hmm. at the moment. They're, because we don't know what the sponsorship levels will be like, we're not offering any monetary prizes. However, in the future, when we do offer a prize, it will be more geared towards, you know, communities and charities whereby, you know, so if you win in your section, either large floats or small floats, that, that prize money will be given to a, a charity of your choice. Understood. Well, uh, Mr. Jones, I am going to go ahead once again and put my foot in the mud and ask you to sign up CCT. I did that the other day for a karaoke competition and we ended up winning. So, hey, go ahead and put CCT down and we'll figure out the logistics of how we're going to participate. How can persons uh, get in contact with you for those who are not only interested in participating and filling out an application, uh, but for persons who would like to uh, share in this event by way of sponsorship? Well, you can firstly um, check out our, our Facebook page, Flotilla of Lights. Uh, you can also contact us on 284-547-8306 on or email us at phoenixeventsprofessionals at gmail.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time this evening, uh, Mr. Jones, and we do wish you much success, and we look forward to seeing a flotilla of lights uh, coming down uh, the roadway of the British Virgin Islands as well as on the waters at the Tortola Pier Park. Thank you so much for your time and much success with this event. Thank you very much for having me. Viewers, that's all the time we have. I'll see you later. I'm Ron Grant.